You are watching WPTV. Valentine's Day is here, which means that love is in the air and not just between you and a partner, it could also be between two best friends. But because I have no idea how relationships or love or even works, I brought on Jonah and Gio to help me get through it. So let's get to it. Thanks, Alex. Hi, everyone. I'm Jonah Arnau. And I'm Gio Giada. Starting off at number 10, Nathan Drake would not be the explorer he is without Sully. Sully is the closest thing to a father Drake has and taught him everything he knows about adventuring and treasure hunting. Sully saw the potential in Drake after his attempt of stealing a rare artifact. He took him in and practically raised him. Their lives continue together as an almost half partnership and half family, adventuring all over. At number nine, whether it was taking out girth from long distance or calibrating the ship's weapons, where Shepard went, Garth followed. He helped stop Saren, the lead, defeated the Collectors, and helped Shepard save the Alliance when the Reapers attacked. Garrus was a best friend, companion, and partner to the Commander throughout the series. Hopefully, everyone's fan and favorite, Turin, will, is reunited with his Commander soon. Number eight is the dynamic duo. It is obvious that Batman is very competent on his own, but couldn't be any more well known than as a duo with Robin. Taking in this young acrobat under his wing gave Batman something more than just himself and the citizens to look after. In a way, Robin gave Batman a whole other purpose that Batman himself didn't even realize he needed, since taking him in was no longer Batman to save the day, but Batman and Robin to save the day. Number seven belongs to the Teen Titans, who introduced a very interesting relationship between couple Beast Boy and Raven. While Beast Boy is loud and very outgoing shapeshifter, Raven is a much more quiet and reserved demon spawn. The two never, never truly express their love for one another, but their deep relationship can be seen throughout the series and culminates when the two leave the Teen Titans to spend the rest of their lives together. At number six, Woody's world was ripped apart when Buzz arrived. He was no longer the favorite nor leader of the toys, yet despite all this, an unmatching bond forms between them. Woody makes Buzz aware that he is a toy in the beginning of their friendship, and it only grows from there, an equal partnership and unspoken leadership of the rest of the toys. Who Framed Roger Rad Rabbit brought us a strange but spectacular power couple, Jessica and Roger Rabbit. While Jessica is a singer for the Los Angeles Ink and Paint Club, the recently unemployed Roger Rabbit runs around getting framed for murder. They have a great and hilarious dynamic together, and that's why we put them in number five. Coming in at number four, there is only one person under the sea that SpongeBob would ever go jellyfishing with, go to Weenie Hut Juniors with, and make funny yet sometimes terrible decisions with, and that's Patrick. There are numerous episodes where a tear in their friendship occurs, and it never looks pretty, but they always return to being best friends in the end. And number three, a spoiled galactic princess and a stuck-up, half-witted, scruffy-looking nerf herder became one of the most iconic couples in movie history with a release of Star Wars. Han and Leia's relationship is amazing to watch with witty banter even in the worst of situations. Let's not, for let's not forget when Han was about to be frozen in carbonite, Leia said, I love you. And Hans just said, I know. Amazing. Our top bromance bop belongs to the surviving Uchiha and the number one knucklehead ninja. Both Sasuke and Naruto began their journeys together as academy students before even becoming Genin. Throughout the entire story, the progression of Naruto and Sasuke continue with both of them getting stronger and their relationship changing from neutral to bad to worse and then to good. There is a struggle of understanding between the two and even when on opposite sides, they grow together. For our number one romance, we had to go with the webhead. Throughout the comics, movies, and games, Peter Parker and Mary Jane Watson have always stuck together. Despite, being, despite the life-threatening and time-consuming job of being your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, the two always manage to work it out. MJ is the inspiration and driving force behind why Spider-Man saves people in need. That, that, is, is, that has been your top 10 romances and bromances in nerd culture. But don't go anywhere. We will be right back with Theory Time here on Press Start. 